सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ नमिता शो एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑन द पॉपकॉर्न अपीयरेंसेज वॉट ऑल कंडीशन टू बी फाइंड पॉपकॉर्न अपीयरेंस फर्स्ट वन इज पॉपकॉर्न कैल्सिफिकेशन ऑन चेक्स एक्स रे एज वी कैन सी इट्स रिटर्न पालमनरी हमाटोमास राइट नाउ हमाटोमा इज अ बिनाइन कंडीशन नॉट अ ट्यूमर वेर डिसऑर्गनाइज टिश्यू एलिमेंट्स आर फाउंड इन द एरियाज ऑफ ग्रोथ सो पलमनरी हमाटोमास आर कॉमन इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज इट यूजली प्रेजेंट्स एज अ सॉल्ट्री नोड्यूल्स और मास इन द लंग फील्ड्स राइट नाउ इट कैन बी एसिम्टोमेटिक इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द केसेज और इट कैन कॉज सिम्टम्स लाइक हेमाप्टिस ब्रॉन्कियल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन कफ एट्सेट्रा इट कैन बी कॉन्ड्रोमेटस टाइप लियो माइमेटस टाइप और बोथ राइट Now treatment it depends on the symptoms if it is completely asymptomatic no treatment is required if it is symptomatic surgical resection is done next one is popcorn appearance on iliac bones or the flat bones so this one is commonly seen in chondrosarcoma now chondrosarcoma is a radio resistant tumor it is commonly seen in pelvic bones flat bones like iliac bones commonly it is associated with hyperglycemia It has the best prognosis among the malignant tumors, right? And a dense calcification is seen on the X-ray, right? The treatment is surgery. Next one coming to popcorn appearance on the MRI brain. That is seen in cavernous hemangioma. Now hemangioma is again a type of hematoma that arises from the blood vessels, right? Now it is common, commonly seen in forty to sixty years of age group. Hmm. Now it can be asymptomatic, but it can also cause symptoms like hemorrhage, seizures, any focal neurological deficit, headache, etc. So this cavernous hemangioma is basically a cerebral cavernous venous malformation. So venous malformation, right? Now hemangiomas are basically or three types: cavernous, capillary, and plexiform. In this case, in case of cavernous hemangioma, again. the treatment depends on the symptoms if it is asymptomatic we leave left we leave it like that if it is symptomatic then depends on the mass effect or epileptiform seizures we do it we treat it symptomatically and if possible surgical resection if it is possible then it is done right next one we come on the popcorn calcification seen on mammography that is seen in fibroadenoma now fibroadenoma is the most common cause of breast lump and commonly seen in 15 to 25 years of age group now it belongs to a spectrum of disorders that is known as aberration of normal development and involution it's of two types pericanalicular type intracanalicular type it is usually presents as a firm mobile lump it is highly mobile so it's also known as breast mouse the investigation of choice is usg now surgery is done in few conditions like cosmetic conditions rapid increase in size painful positive family history then now surgery generally peri areolar incision is given that is cosmetically better but if it is present in the lower half then infra mammary incision is given now let's come to the pictures this one is a popcorn calcification as seen in Uh, breast mammography that is seen in case of fibroadenoma right this one is a cavernous hemangioma large spaces filled with blood you can see properly this one is a chondrosarcoma which arises from the iliac bones with soft tissue extension and this one is a lung hematoma that presents as a solitary nodules thank you subscribe to my channel for more such videos and uh, do like my channel and like my video thank you